Republican candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz is camp. He's watching the returns very closely tonight in Bucks County. Lots of folks out there gathering and waiting for Dr. Oz's appearance. That's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts live in Newtown. Alicia. Natasha, good evening to you. That's right. This crowd is gathered here inside the Newtown Athletic Center here in Newtown. We are waiting for Dr. Oz. The crowd a bit subdued here. We do have streaming coverage of the election right now behind me, and the crowd just saw the results pop up showing John Fetterman ahead here in Pennsylvania, and that certainly brought the mood in this room down a bit, but this crowd remaining hopeful tonight. Now, earlier today, Dr. Vo Oz voted with his wife in nearby Brenathan, which is a neighboring Montgomery County. Dr. Oz hoping in these last couple of weeks to pick up some of these undecided swing voters. The slogan on his podium behind me tonight says, bringing balance to Washington. It's a move his opponents say has been incongruent given that he has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Nevertheless, it does appear to be working. Dr. Oz gaining momentum in the days leading up to this election. <laughs> his supporters hope it will be enough and certainly the Republican Party needing this seat very much. Dr. Oz would be the Republican in theory to replace the retiring Pat Toomey, who is also a Republican, who has held that seat since 2011. All eyes here, though, certainly on Pennsylvania. I've spoken to media from China and France, national media outlets here, everyone paying very close attention to what happens here tonight, although it is unlikely we are going to get results anytime soon. By the way, Pennsylvania, the most expensive Senate race in the entire country, $261 million spent on political ads and counting. For now, we're live in Newtown. Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, a lot hanging in the balance tonight. Thank you very much.